Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and on top of the Sirius mount here, we've got the Orion 110 ED apochromatic uh, refractor. It's a 110 millimeter um, refractor at uh, 660 millimeter focal length, that's f6. So it's a nice wide field telescope for either imaging, uh, larger nebula, uh, for viewing uh, with a two inch eyepiece, uh, you can get a very, very wide field of view. And then with the ED glass in it, you can also, also push it to very high power and the image holds together very nicely. So let me go through some of the features and uh, show you more about it. So the most important thing with this refractor is the ED uh, lens. It's a uh, ED doublet, meaning one of the lenses is made out of uh, FBL 51 glass, which is a low dispersion glass, which means at high magnifications uh, or looking at bright targets or a combination of both, uh, you don't get that false color fringing you do with a standard achromatic refractor. Uh, an inexpensive refractor, if you pointed it at the moon or at Jupiter, um, you'll see some false color, like a bluish or purplish haze around the edges of the object. And that's some of the light out of focus. Um, but that also means that since it's a little bit out of focus, you lose a little bit of detail. So the ED glass brings all the wavelengths of light from the red end of the spectrum to the blue end of the spectrum, all to focus at one point, give you a very high contrast, high, sh high sharpness, uh, and very detailed image of the objects th that you're looking at. The optics themselves are fully multi-coated, so you've got a very high light transmission and a very efficient system. Uh, most all the light entering the scope gets down to your eyepiece or your camera, uh, giving you the brightest possible image for a scope of this size. Um, it's 660 millimeters, like I said, so that's a nice kind of medium wide field uh, for large objects. The uh, Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, especially with a uh, larger APS uh, size or, or full format size camera, uh, would fit very nicely in a focal length of that size. The focuser itself is 2.7 inch diameter, and if you look on the end of it, you've got adapters to go down to the standard 2 inch, and then it comes with a 2 inch to 1 and a quarter adapter here. And my favorite part about the end of the focuser here is the clamping system. Uh, this does not have a set screw to hold the eyepiece uh, or diagonal or camera in place. It uses this large locking ring which clamps down around the eyepiece and holds it very solidly. Same thing with the inch and a quarter insert. So you'd loosen it like this, insert, and then tighten it down and then lock this down on your smaller accessory there. Uh, that will come in very handy when you're out in the cold and you've got gloves on and you don't want to fiddle with a small set screw. So a nice system there. There's also a knob here for rotating the entire thing uh, on this little dovetail uh, uh, bearing. So in case you have your camera locked in place and you want to change orientation to do a different composition, you can loosen it, rotate it around, and then lock it down in place. But the actual clamping system holds the camera and the eyepiece very solidly. On the side of the scope is a dovetail finder bracket, which will accept any of the Orion finders from the 6x30 to the 9x50 right angle. Uh, that also will work with any of our uh, mini guide scopes, the 50, the 60 millimeter uh, guide scopes, which use the finder scope bracket. That's, I think, the ideal way to auto guide with this. If you're taking a long exposure deep sky photo, cameras here and your mini guide scope on top will track perfectly with this. Um, the scope comes with a set of rings. These are very robust rings. Where's my lock? There we go. These rings here uh, clamp the tube. Uh, they don't scratch it. They've got a little felt or, or soft padding underneath. Uh, holds it very solidly. There's screws on top for attaching other rails, whatever else you wanted to put on top. The dovetail uh, shifts uh, or slips down. I can't put it all the way down because my rings are in this location. Um, but when you want to store this away, this thing will collapse down another couple of inches to keep it uh, nice and compact. And then it also comes with a, uh, a hard shell carry case to uh, prevent it from being damaged when you're transporting it around. The scope also weighs just under 12 pounds, so it's nice on some of the medium size mounts. Um, you can see it here, I've got it on the Sirius mount, which holds up to 30 pounds, so that's plenty of weight capacity for this. Uh, but any number of, uh, of mounts will work with this. You'll want to total up the weight of the scope, 12 pounds, plus your camera, your filter wheel, your guide scope, whatever else, uh, when you decide what mount you want to use. This would work on something as small as the Skyview Pro mount, but by the time you add on maybe a heavy camera and everything, you're probably getting up to about the 20 pound weight capacity of the Skyview Pro. And you might want to think about something bigger like the Sirius mount. All right, well, there you have it. This is a great uh, telescope for wide field viewing, for wide field imaging on any of the medium sized mounts like the Sirius here. This is the Orion 110 millimeter F6 
ED apochromatic refractor. Thank you very much. Clear skies.